Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today guys we have episode number 6 of our Cardiff City career mode on FIFA 19 career mode. Now I just want to say thanks for all the support that I have been getting on this series uh, so far. It's uh, been really really uh, good and great to see uh, that my channel is doing well in terms of this career mode. Um, because yeah the support has been shown by the views and the likes so far on this series. Um, people seem to enjoy this like lower tier team more than a big popular team like Juventus but I mean it's all good uh, and like I said I'm just really appreciative of the uh, support I do get so before we do before I do before I do get into the highlights um, if you could drop a like on this video it'd be greatly appreciated if you could also comment down below your thoughts and opinions if anything uh, you want me in terms of signings players uh, you want me to play or not play uh, formations stuff like that and um, yeah any way I can improve the videos if you uh, have any ideas which I will happily uh, take on board that would also be great if not well thanks for at least watching the video anyway subscribe if you are new turn post notifications on so you don't miss an episode because I do have a new series coming out hopefully next week by the time I finish the Juventus one which should be this time next week or maybe next Friday I don't know anyway moving on to the episode um, the first controversial thing of the episode was uh, Harry Maguire getting a red card uh, it's pretty funny because I knew it was going to be a red card, but then when like the animations and stuff started happening, um, the ref didn't really seem like he was going to send him off. And then Harry Maguire, just, his, his head's so big, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, we get a free kick, lay it off to Harry Arter there, um, drills it, takes the deflection uh, out for a corner. Uh, unlucky not to score from that. Uh, we should have probably done better than that, to be honest, from a free kick in that area. But anyway, we do pick up the ball with Loftus Cheek. And then we uh, somehow get it back into the final third, but then give away the ball completely there, which is very annoying. Uh, they play a really good pass down to um, Vardy here. I tried to tackle him with, uh, I think it was Narsing traveling back, but our left back Cunningham was there to intercept that um, cross there from one of the midfielders. And we were able to then go on a counter attack ourselves, which is like I was shown, like, speak, like, and when I talk about um, the sort of like counter attacking plays that I have. This just shows that like these are the games that I this is what happens in most of my games. Literally end to end football every time. Uh, we get a shot off there and it hits the post. I don't know how Hoyle is literally just hit the post there. Um, but anyway, nonetheless it was a good shot. Um there was actually like, no power in it. I just don't get how it hit the post from there. But anyway, unfortunately not to get a goal there to go and one them up. Um here that could have been a penalty, you know, from uh I, th I think that was Patterson no Morrison, the centre back, got a bit lucky there. Uh, anyway, moving on, Narson gets the ball from off the cheek. Could have gone down for a penalty there, but we do actually get a free kick out of that, so it's actually not that bad. Hoyler over the free kick, you know, he's, he's on good form recently, goes to shoot, and what was that? That was embarrassing, man. Embarrassing. Anyway, moving on from that woeful free kick. It's near half time here. Loftus Sheik holds the ball up nicely, plays it into Narsing, into Rouse, I think that was, who plays it into Origi. And uh, Origi finesses it into the top corner there. Who Origi's been on a bit of a dodgy bit of form recently if I'm being honest and some of the games that I've been using them in uh, that's I don't know if that's because of the FIFA update just because the gameplay is a bit different but uh, nonetheless really nice finish really good team goal there uh, building the ball up and uh, yeah Origi nice little angle there to get the goal uh, just before half time as well which is a crucial goal uh, crucial time to get a goal uh, especially when they're 10 when they've got a man down they've only got 10 left anyway moving on second half Hoylet here running down the wing cuts inside Goes to play a nice ball to Loftus Cheek. Loftus Cheek and literally like the Hoylet free kick. How are you missing it by that much in that area of the uh, position or uh, the pitch? Sorry. Anyway, showing you guys um, a couple of subs that I did decide to make. Murphy coming off for Hoylet and Bobby Reed coming on for uh, Loftus Cheek just to try and bring a bit of pace and a bit of, bit of energy to the team. Just because obviously we have got quite a lot of games to get through this season so it is nice to give players a rest every now and then um, Origi there literally three times he won and lost the ball and he couldn't get a goal there anyway moving on to the 84th minute now closing in on the end of this game they put a nice cross in Vardy jumps up above Bamba there but uh, the keepers saved that really easily and we do go on a counter attack ourselves what a ball this was by um, Josh Murphy but unfortunately uh, Narsing couldn't actually get to the end of that the defender did well but the pressing was really good here we do manage to pick up the ball with Origi but unfortunately his pass was intercepted uh, before it could get to Murphy anyway we get another chance here because we're from the throw and literally from that uh, attempt there 
Rigi lays the ball off. Or, yeah, he lays the ball off to Narsing into Joe. Not, not Joe. I was going to say Joe Allen then. Uh, into Harry Arter, but unfortunately he can't get the goal. But we do win this game, which is very good because Leicester are a top ten side in my opinion. So even though it was a one 0 win, it was a good win to get. And um, yeah, I'm pleased with that result. And now we move on into the next game against Brighton, which is pretty pretty important game for us because Brighton are on the same level as us in terms of like expectations in terms of like positioning in the table so a win against them would be really good um, this game was very very um, you'll just see what I mean it was a very very up and down game but nonetheless from the kickoff we they created the chance early on and then we've literally ran up the other end here with a uh, off the chic through. Oh no, he would have been through if Origi's pass met him, but it unfortunately got intercepted at the last stage. Anyway, they got a chance here. He absolutely sold me. When he did this, I was like, he sold me. And he's cut it back. I've slid in because I thought he was going to shoot first time. Cuts it back, drills it into the top corner. I think I keep the replay rolling here. No, I thought he was going to shoot there, that's why I slid in. And he's just done me in, rolled me back, and yeah, 1 0 to Brighton in the 10th minute. Kind of frustrating, but. I mean, it was a really nice goal, to be fair to him. Keeper maybe could have done better, but ah, we'll move on. 15 minutes, or yeah, 15 minutes in. Hoyle it here, cuts inside. Should be doing better that chance, but it was a good block by the defender. Again, uh, Origi here, pushing on forward. We play it over Loftus-Cheek. He plays it to Hoyle. Hoyle drives in, lays it all across to Ruben, and Ruben scores. Really nice goal there from Loftus-Cheek. Um, bit lucky, maybe, because it did hit the crossbar and then bounced in. Um, but like I said, really nice football from uh, Cardiff there. Look, Loftus Cheek linking up with Hoylet, Hoylet back to Loftus Cheek, and then it can't, wait, did that hit the post or the crossbar? I'm pretty sure when the commentator said it, when it went in, it was a bit lucky with uh, the crossbar. But anyway, moving on, uh, we tried to clear the ball there, but the header just went straight to the opponent's feet. He tries to make a cross there, we clear it once, and then we literally tried to clear it again, but it just goes straight back at us. And Brighton are playing this one-touch football, but we got lucky that the shot was uh, really poor straight into the keeper's hands. Moving on to 42nd minute, Loftus-Cheek to Origi. He plays a nice ball to Loftus-Cheek. And then again, Loftus-Cheek has scored like an identical goal there. He's literally just hit the post and it's gone in again. Like, I, I don't know what is happening. Like, it's literally an identical goal. Nice pass from uh, Origi as well. Uh, good finish from Loftus-Cheek. 2-1 up now. This is looking good for us because... Like I said at the start of this game, uh, Brighton are a game we should be winning if we want to stay at least out of like the bottom half um, if we want to push on because hopefully we do push on in terms of like passing our expectations in terms of like what the board want. Like they want us to avoid relegation. I want to be getting like top 10 in the first season, but obviously not because I, I want to keep it realistic, but I can't, I can't like keep it realistic by like if I'm winning games, you know what I mean? So it's kind of annoying in a way that it might not be as realistic as what people would want or what I would want, but I can't really change that. Anyway, uh, Brighton get a corner here in the <coughs> last stages of the game. Whips it in, good ball in, and I don't know how, I don't know how he's won that header against my two players there. Two on one, and they couldn't head it, and then he lobs it into the top corner. Steven's in the uh, 86th minute. Uh, 90th minute now, 90th minute, they're playing the ball around really well, didn't track this run down the wing, uh, He, I missed the tackle, could have been a penalty, and boom. <sighs> it's just it's just frustrating, just 90th minute as well, when we we're 2-1 up, we lose this game 3-2, Gross there, um, Gross, however you want to pronounce it, um, scores the goal there, I was just so annoyed at this stage, but then out of nowhere, we're... On the attack, lost the streak to Reed. Reed, one touch, finesse. And you'd think you would have put money on him to score there, but it hits the post. And unfortunately, we do take a 3 2 loss. Very frustrating game. Uh, quite an entertaining game for those who have just watched that. But yeah, we move on into the next game against Everton. Uh, literally, you go from losing 3 2 to Brighton, and then you have to go away to Everton. Not going to be an easy game, but. Um, when they when I was playing them, I looked at their team. Their team wasn't great, in my opinion. There were so many like younger players or players that I've never like really heard of before. So I was pretty confident 
um, that I was able that I'd be able to get um, a decent result out of here. Anyway, uh, third minute in, Hoylet here running down the wing as he always does. I just don't get how quick he's so quick for her, how like he's like 28 now and he put, he's put he's still got the pace on him. Anyway. He plays the ball. I didn't mean it to go all the way back. I wanted to go to Hariata, but you know it is what it is. Um, playing some nice football here. Literally, this is from our centre back, and we've ended up in their box from the play football we play. Um, so it's really positive stuff that we're playing at the moment in this career mode, uh, which I'm really enjoying. And uh, I hope that we can get at least three seasons out of this career mode if people still want to watch it. Because I could, I reckon, four seasons. Okay, let's say four. Four seasons could easily get us. This season, we just have a normal season, uh, maybe have a good cup run, I don't know. Next season, we then try qualify for like Europa League. And then the season after that, try and qualify for Champions League. Then you try and win the Champions League, then you try and win the Prem. You could easily get five seasons out of this career mode, which is what I'm aiming for. And then I have a rotational career mode alongside. So like, for instance, uh, I don't know, pe pe most people should already know, um, Wolfsburg is going to be my next career mode, which will replace the Juventus one once I do finish that. Um, that I'm probably going to aim for at least three seasons, depending on how well I do, because Wolfsburg, have, they've gone down quite mu quite a lot in recent years. They're not as good as what they used to be. They haven't got great mu that, that many great players anymore uh, in terms of FIFA. So that's why I'm going with them, because it, it's kind of like Cardiff in a way. But obviously they're a bit better than Cardiff, let's be honest. Anyway, moving on into this Cardiff game again. Uh, just the briefly dozed off into something else then. Uh, lovely team play again for it coming out the back. Uh, Hoylet here has the ball, plays it into Loftus-Cheek. Not a great shot, he didn't really connect well with it. Uh, Pickford, easy save for him. Uh, Hoylet again, he's in quite a lot of the action so far. Uh, nice ball to off this cheek, and he's never going to miss from there. Really, really nice play from uh, Hoyler, Ari, and Loftus Cheek uh, to go one nil up. I always do this old man celebration. I don't mean to. I literally spam the buttons in the L1, R1, and the analog stick, and it just ends up always doing that one. But anyway, second half, 71st minute. I should have tackled him there, but he, they play a really nice ball down to the wing. They tried to cross it in. It wouldn't let me change player, and then look at that. Bernard scores. I was spamming L1. And it wouldn't let me change to the centre back. I just don't get it. Why it just didn't let me change player? Because I would have easily just won that and headed it out before Bernard was anywhere near the ball. So it's frustrating that we drew, well, no, that they scored. And then that does actually um, result in a draw. But uh, yeah, we had one more little chance to try and get something. We couldn't make it work. And then, yeah, that's a really annoying that we uh, couldn't get that um, win. Literally, if I got to change that player, we would have won that game. Um, which is annoying. Anyway, um, yeah, literally, it's really annoying, but what can you do about it? Moving on into another game which I should be winning. Anyway, let's just see how this goes anyway. So, right, Wolves, you know, the newly promoted team, they're quite decent in real life, I guess, if you could say that. They've got a decent team, because obviously they've got a bit, decent bit of money now since they've been promoted. Um... So yeah, uh, we make a nice block there from uh, the left back Cunningham there. Uh, tried to flick it on to Loftus Street with a Rigi there, but I wasn't able to, which is quite frustrating because um, we could have easily just had a goal within the first five minutes of the game. They played literally one touch football, which was so annoying. I couldn't get the ball back for the first literally five minutes. I thought he was offside there, but uh, Linesman obviously said he wasn't offside. So um, really nice dribble in there. He just sold me completely when I went to tackle him. Completely missed him. Uh, Johnny here, the left back, whips it in. Keeper tries to punch it out, but our centre back um, gets there ahead of him. Shocking pass from Loftus Cheek. What was that? Uh, the left back again gets it uh, in a nice position. Uh, easy for the keeper there. So the first nine minutes there I showed um, was, yeah, it was it wasn't bad, was it? Um, mainly them just keeping the ball, which was kind of annoying. Uh, Jimenez here had a decent chance, but just couldn't quite get the ball down and they end up trying to shoot from a stupid angle on the volley literally with his toe anyway unlucky chance from him but fortunate enough for us here literally they're playing the ball around one touch football I could not get the ball off them held a Costa there with a nice shot um, went over the bar just about Costa again on the ball cuts inside nearly a penalty uh, the one touch football again sold me and what a save that is from Jaworski uh, Dragovski uh, really 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 good save uh, to keep us in the game 
because uh, obviously Wolves have been dominating us so far. Tried to clear it with Harry Art there, didn't go out the first time because it got blocked and back to them. And what a strike that was from Jimenez to hit the crossbar. I thought that was going to be a goal. Anyway, 27th minute now, Loftus Street driving on into the box. Tried to whip it across, Hoyler is there, uh, well wasn't there, sorry, uh, and they clear it. We get the ball back here, Loftus Street again. Great save from Rob Patricio, straight well, it's straight at him, really, wasn't it? <coughs> straight in the hands. Uh, we come back at them again here. Origi plays a nice ball to Hoylet. Hoylet back to Origi. Origi. Ah, oh, it's unlucky. It's very unlucky from Origi. If he got the shot off quicker, maybe he would have scored, but I'm not sure. Anyway, Origi here. Header should have scored, but it got blocked on the way towards the goal. We get another chance from another corner here. Origi's front post, but uh, Roy Patricio does come out and claim it, um, which is uh, decent keeping again. Uh, Morrison here to Loftus Cheek, cuts away, drives on in and shoots. Great save from Patricio again. Uh, this literally, that whole like five or so minutes, we just battered them in terms of like shots and stuff like that uh, and putting on the pressure. Not much happened uh, after that point until the second half here. Um, 60 second minute, really nice ball from uh, Na uh, no, not Narsing. Nice ball from Bobby Reed that ca who came on and Narsing puts it in the top corner with a really nice finish. Uh, really nice goal that. Um, look if you look at it, oh, it's not going to show it again, uh, but it was a really nice flick from Reed to Narsing. Anyway, Reed here gets a chance from Loftus Cheek. Great save from the keeper, and Hoylet just about scores the rebound. Um, I think Reed probably should have scored that. Loftus Cheek scored a goal similar to that chance uh, earlier on in the episode, so he probably should have scored. Um, but as I said, two and up now. It's literally. This could be four if we carry on the way we were in the last like 10 minutes of the uh, second half. Anyway, moving on. Uh, really nice play from our team again. Uh, you know what? He kept driving on and I was like, you know what? Shoot. And it was such a bad shot, but uh, Patricio claimed it really easy for him. Uh, unlucky there. Lost the Sheik's in a good position here on his weak foot, so I cut it back. Tried to finesse it. Good save from Patricio once again. Uh, we do end up getting a corner after um, Patson does get a yellow card there. I brought on Mendes Lang for Narsing as well, just to give him a little run out uh, for the last like five or so minutes. Uh, once again, the ball gets cleared uh, um, from uh, the centre back. Harry Art gets the ball, plays it to Mendes Lang, who's just been on the pitch for literally like five minutes, uh, five seconds, sorry. But he is unable to um, find the goal. <clears throat> anyway, moving on into the last game of the episode, I needed to make a few changes to the side. Uh, just because um, most of the players uh, were actually not fit enough or didn't have enough stamina from the last game, so I um, I uh, decided to literally play a second team against West Ham, which is probably uh, a bad thing to do, maybe, because um, yeah, West Ham have got a decent squad and uh, they've probably got a better squad than ours, to be honest, but nonetheless, you know, we've got to go into it with uh, open arms and uh, just try and play some decent footy and try and get a result here so yeah I'm hoping this because obviously this is the last game of the episode because uh, this has been this has been the one of my longest episodes for a career mode video I've done on my channel in FIFA 19 so yeah West Ham kick us off here um yeah they've got like Arnautovic, Lanzini or Bonner uh people like that like they're very dangerous Felipe Anderson as well I don't know if he starts or not um yeah so they got they got Holland as well. Great tackle there, but mm, was it a free kick? Probably not, to be honest. Anyway, um, free kick here for West Ham. Delivery, not good. We get the ball out, get them straight back at us. Um, Snodgrass here cuts and cuts back outside, sorry, but his shot is blocked. 14th minute now, we get the ball here with Mendes Lang. Cuts it across to uh, the centre mid, plays it off to Rowles. Irigi is there, but the keeper saves it. And that's uh, pretty comfortable for the keeper. Uh, not really a testing effort from Origi there, which is unfortunate. Uh, Lanzini picks up the ball here. Uh, nice skill uh, twice from him, but the shot is poor from, uh, I think, Anderson that was. So we then roll it out. We get a counter-attack going. Literally, what I do every time I score is a counter-attack goal. What a pass from uh, Murphy to uh, Reed. Reed lays it across to Origi, and he drills it into that top corner off the post. Uh, what a goal that was from Origi, uh, really nice play from him, 
uh, and Reed and also Murphy to make that pass to Reed in the first place, which was uh, really good. All smiles around there. Really nice pass from Murphy. Unfortunately, you couldn't get to see it on the replay there. Off the crossbar, boom. You're not going to see a better goal than that uh, from Origi anytime soon. Anyway, we get the ball here. Second half uh, underway in a. Uh, because the first half was quite bland, I guess. Uh, Origi gets slipped in here and literally into the top corner. Origi scores once again. 2-0 up away from us now with our second team in a way. In the sense that we have our second team apart from like literally the odd two players, I think, out of the whole 11. Anyway, really uh, nice goal worked from Origi again. They come straight back at us with from the corner, uh, from, from the kickoff, sorry. Uh, Holland here on the ball, whips it in, Arnautovic, I don't know how he's nearly scored that header and I just couldn't clear my lines, I don't know what is happening right now and Arnautovic is just headed into an empty net after all that commotion, I decided to bring on the cheek as well just to try and get another goal, just to get that two goal lead back, um, from our kick off here we do um, push on straight away we have to go back a bit, first Ampadu plays it into Rouse, Rouse down to Murphy, he plays it inside to <clears throat> Reed, Reed to Bennett, Bennett a cross goal to Reed, and he drills it, absolutely drills it into the top roof of the net, not even the top corner, it was the roof of the net. So we've literally scored, they've had a kickoff, gone up the pitch, scored, we've had a kickoff, gone up the pitch and scored. I just don't get this game sometimes, uh, it's mad honestly. Uh, Reed getting his second goal of the season in the Premier League, um, not bad for a sub I guess, because he doesn't really get much game time which is annoying because I do think he's a good player, I just don't really, I just like using Origi. Anyway, replays a nice ball into Mendes Lang and what a finish this is by the way. What a finish. What a goal that is. Literally, first time as well. I, I shouldn't have taken it first time. I should have taken a touch, but anyway, nice goal from him. 4-1 and that is pretty much the game over. As you can see here, last chance for West Ham in the dying moments. Goes to nothing. Uh, and it even is a goal kick. I'm pretty, yeah, pretty sure it's a goal kick anyway. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, West Ham tried to create another chance. Didn't really go their way. Anyway, 92nd minute nearly. This is going to be the end of the episode once the final whistle goes. Yes, it does. And we do take a really nice win there. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you could like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.